morning, a project designed to raise funds and awareness for children's welfare issues in her home country of Iraq. So far, she's raised a considerable amount of money and, of course, has gained attention from some of the highest corridors of power in New Zealand. She joins me now. Good evening, Seal. Now, it's called Eye Care. What is it? Um, well, Eye Care stands for Iraqi Children's Aid and Repair Endeavour. It's a medical and dental charity um, based in New Zealand. It's 100% registered, um, and basically it's to raise funds for children in Iraq. What are some of the major threats facing children in Iraq? Um, well, apart from the decades of war, um, Iraqi children are facing um, maxillofacial injuries from constant sort of insurgent attacks and um, facial trauma, and also a lot of birth deformities from um, the depleted uranium weaponry that was used during the wars as well. Yeah. Goodness. Now, what are you currently working on? Um, we've got three projects up and running. Um, the first one's called Sponsor a Smile, and that's when um, New Zealanders from all walks of life have been going onto our website looking at children's profiles and um, donating towards a child to get a surgery done in Iraq. Um, we've also got Recipes for Prevention, which is an education program for Iraqi women and children. And we've got Eye Care Volunteer, which, where we're sending um, New Zealand health professionals to go and volunteer in Iraq. When did you begin this project? Um, it started last year and it's sort of, um, well, it's, been t it's taken a long time to get up and running, so it wasn't up and running until last year. And, uh, what kind of response have you had so far? It's been really positive. Um, New Zealanders are very generous. Um, everyone's um, sort of been very um, you know, keen to get involved and to donate and to spread the word. Yeah. Is it difficult to get these children into hospitals to get the surgery at all? Um, it is difficult because of the shortage of doctors and, and medical supplies in Iraq. Um, so what we're doing is when that treatment's not available in Iraq, um, we're funding for them to get it in neighbouring countries, such as um, Jordan or other countries where it might be available. How much have you raised so far? Um, it's been really good. Um, we've been selling um, recipe books and things like that, and we raised about $10,000 um, just from donations from New Zealanders. Has any of the money been distributed yet? Yeah, it has. And um, just today, actually, um, we, we've got video footage of one of the children receiving um, some of the money. And um, as, as soon as we get an amount for a child, we transfer it directly over. And that child gets the money in an envelope and everything is filmed so you can see where the donations are going. That's fantastic. You've apparently had interest from New Zealand's Prime Minister, John Key. How did that come about? Uh, well, it's, it's a long story, but um, it was it was really uh, quite fortunate. I was in Hamilton at the same time that he was. He'd heard about IKEA, um, and they happened to be on lunch there, and so I got invited to go there and sit with him and speak about it. And he was very supportive of our cause. And what's next for the project? Um, hopefully, it's just going to get bigger and better, and um, we've got people in Australia now keen to get involved as well. Um, and so we just hope to be able to make some sort of difference in Iraq. And I'm sure you've got a website. What's the address? Um, www.iraqicare.com Wonderful. Good luck with that. Uh, I see yeah. you, Russell. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. After the break on Nine Local News, local fans keep the All Blacks busy and we'll take a look at weather for the end of the working week. Mm -hmm.